Hello everyone, I am Jogo from Valiantes and I would like to share with you guys this little button here or check mark that Atlassian implemented inside Jira last year. I saw that a lot of people still don't know about it, so I think it can help you a lot with your automations. So what this little guy do is basically you have the option to add some fields while uh, triggering some manual automations. You can add some fields like short text, paragraph, drop down, number, or checkbox. So, what we are doing here in this automation that I created, uh, I added this field here, remote component, and I, I added some options, I set to require it, and I added this variable name here, remote component, which is, in this case, just for example, it is the same name as the field itself. So what does this automation do? Uh, we are just put some one action here to clone the issue that we are manually triggering. Uh, it is set to create a, a, the issue type will be set to be task. The summary there is the smart value here to be the same uh, as the, the, the issue and there is this clone in front. But the only difference here is this component that we is setting for the field that we added in this check mark here. Now, let's see how this behaves in an issue. Let's go to our project here, create an issue, let's call it example, for example. And inside the issue, this is the location for manual triggering rules. Clicking in actions, we see the list of all the manual rules we have. And let's trigger this automation here. It is the remote component. Here's the field that we added in the automations. Let's set, let's put comp1, for example. And the rules, uh, the rule already completed. We can check it in the audit log, the su success. Okay, what do we have here? Issue cloned. Let's see the issue here that has been cloned. As you can see, clone dash example and the component is comp1. Of course, this comp1, it's already set in the components for the project. I already put them here just for the automation to work, of course. Now, uh, this is it. You have the, uh, some fields to put in the automation and the automation can, has been mo can be more dynamic than ever. So let's check another automation that I ha created to show you. Now I created this remote urgency. It's the same principle, but a little bit more complicated, but still simple enough. Uh, let's check the trigger. So what do we have? The prompt here, the, checking the prompt, you can set the fields. I have two fields, the priority and the urgency. Both has these options that are high, medium or low. The variable names are the same as the field. And then we have the automation itself. What do we have here? If the priority the, the, of the, the added fields are high and the urgency as, uh, is high too. Uh, just one thing, this user, this match value here is user inputs dot urgency, he gives you for example, the priority one, when I selected variable name will be priority, he, say, he will say to you, look, the smart value here will be user input dot priority. So here's the smart value that you need to use. You put here, well, select your conditions, make your conditions, and then make your automations. Okay, when priority is high and urgency is high, uh, do something. Uh, for example, clone the issue, uh, put some urgent in the summary and select the assignee to be uh, whatever person you want. For In this case, Diogo, priority will be the highest. Uh, and if this is not happening, else clone the issue, but put priority to medium. So when priority is high and urgency high, uh, clone the issue with the highest priority and set the assignee to someone. Otherwise, just clone the issue and set the priority to medium. Now let's go to an issue and do that to see. Let's create an example too. Let's trigger this automation, remote urgency. As you can see the fields here, priority and urgency, let's put both of them to high. 
Okay. Uh, let's go to the audit log of the automation just to check stuff. Not necessary though. Okay. Audit log. Okay. Success. Let's see what happened here. Issue cloned. It is the 19 manual tool, the project that we selected in the automations here. Project will be the manual tool. The SNE is the Diogo. Priority is the highest. And this is it. The conditions passed and, the clon and he cloned the issue to manual tool. Everything according to our plan. And this is it, guys. As you can see, you have a more dynamic automations now. You can set some fields and do more stuff. Thank you a lot. Bye-bye.